La Aroma de Cuba. Gavin Burcham here doing another exciting cigar review. So today's cigar is a hefty cigar. It's big, I would say. It's a typical Gordo. It's about a 60 ring gauge. Seems to be about six inches. The cigar was made by Don Pippin Garcia from Nicaragua and it has some Cuban seed Nicaraguan long fillers with a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. So it's called the Aroma of Cuba. I'm assuming because it's from Cuban seed long fillers, not that it's actually grown in Cuba. This is a Nicaraguan cigar. It uh, has a rugged wrapper. It looks like it's got a nice red hue to it. Beautiful looking wrapper. I had one of these a long time ago, but it was not in a Gordo size. So I'm curious as to what this is gonna taste like. Let's get it cut up and start smoking. Off the first light, very, very oily, like a oily wood and a little bit of, of earth and leather. A lot of flavor. I would say medium, medium to full body starting. We'll uh, keep smoking and I'll get back in touch with you guys during the first third. Okay, so we're about 15 minutes in to this so far great medium bodied cigar. So it started out medium full, but definitely is a medium Currently, I'm getting some very smooth, sweet wood flavors, as well as the core of like a leather and earth. Very good cigar to go with a cup of coffee in the afternoon, or maybe even the morning. I'm not feeling any effects yet. We'll see if the effects, you know, ramp up as the cigar goes along. So far, the ash is burning a little bit sideways, but not worrying about it yet. This is a very dense cigar, and at a 60 ring gauge, it's a bit of a mouthful literally, especially for me. So I would say I'm not a huge fan of 60 ring gauge cigars, but I will say the flavors are great. It's just a little bit of a big thing to put in my mouth. If you're a bigger guy, maybe uh, if you have a bigger mouth, then 60 ring gauge is uh, a good ring gauge for you. I looked up on the Ashton website this size is called the Immensa. It's a 5.760 ring gauge, which is typically known as a Gordo, but they're calling it the Immensa, okay? Whatever. It's a Gordo size to me. La Aroma de Cuba was originally a Cuban brand, and then it was rebranded in Esteli, Nicaragua. Some interesting facts for you. I'm gonna keep smoking, and I'll get back in touch with you guys during the second third. Okay, we are 57 minutes into this phenomenal cigar. As you can see, it still has not been ashed. This ash is holding on rather well, which typically is something I see with Gordos. The ash holds on longer. So far, the flavors have transitioned quite a bit. I'm getting a very meaty wood, coffee, and earth. I'm enjoying the the flavor transitions, I like a good meatiness. It's burning well, the draw is perfect. I haven't had to relight it, I haven't had to even ash it. So far, so good. I'll get back in touch with you guys during the third third. Okay, one hour, 40 minutes in, no complaints. It's definitely more of a medium full body in this final third, and the flavors have transitioned to darker notes of a burnt coffee, a wood and an earth. Never had to relight it or touch it up. Burn is razor sharp. Long smoke time out of it. Final thoughts. Although the flavors are medium in the first two thirds and medium full in the final third, I would say the strength is low to medium. So this would be a good cigar in the morning or afternoon if you've had a big breakfast or you know a lunch. This cigar received a 93 rating. I would say it's very much worth a 93 rating. With that, I'm gonna end it. Keep enjoying your smokes, people.